welcome to part five, how to know when your compost is ready and using it. So this kind of shows um, a picture of compost that's ready to use. This bin wasn't heating up anymore because basically it was full of finished compost that was ready to be harvested. Um, so there are several indicators to tell when your compost is finished. It's going to have this kind of dark brown color. It's going to be crumbly and loose. Um, it has an earthy smell. It should have an earthy smell. You shouldn't be able to recognize the material you started with. Like you shouldn't be able to recognize a leaf or straw, you know, your food scraps. Sure, if you have corn cob or uh, avocado pit or a pineapple top, that'll take some time. Or, um, you can put that back in, but... Um, and there'll be some twigs and sticks may persist and you can sift those out. But really the pile is going to have shrunk to about one third of its original volume. Um, so screening is optional. You can buy a screener, but you can make your own with this kind of uh, metal mesh. I just wanted to show you one that's really simple. That's me screening over a five gallon bucket. Uh, once I cut the mesh, it has sharp edges. So use duct tape. Um, and then I just screen right into a bucket as I need it, and then I use the, the compost. And you can see when I'm screening, I I'm I like to cover my my face so I'm not breathing in those particles, if especially if it's really dry, as I mentioned um, in a previous part. So screening, um, depending on what you put in, like you see mango pits, it, oops, sorry, you see a mango pit avocado pit, lots of seeds, egg, these are eggshells. You can put those right back into your pile and they're kind of inoculated with your microorganisms. Um, this is a screener that someone built for me that fits over a wheelbarrow. It's really great. Um, and uh, let's move into how to use compost. I don't really have a lot of time to talk about this, but basically no, you can incorporate your compost, if it's finished, and it does need time to cure and mature, um, eight weeks, so eight to four, eight to 12 weeks, as I mentioned, at minimum. But once it's mature, you can mix a two to four inch layer of compost into the top six to eight inches of your soil prior to seedling or transplanting. You can use it as a mulch. You can use it as a potting mix for seedlings and small containers. Um, we can... Um, probably copy this and share this with you in the notes, uh, the potting mix, if you're interested or reach out to us. 